Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu to Power BI in 2024. So today we're unlocking the power of data visualization by connecting Zuhu to Power BI. This integration allows you to seamlessly analyze and visualize your Zuhu data using Power BI robust tool. Stick around as I guide you through this step to connect Zuhu to Power BI in 2024. So let's dive into the world of insightful data analysis and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial step with. And my, uh, my place, I'm going to use like a Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, and to begin, you'll have to log in into your Zuhu account. So go to the URL section, just type Zuhu and hit the enter button. Make sure to go to this first link and make sure to log in into your account. For me, as you can see, I'm already accessed into my account. So I can go here and access my apps like CRA, Mail, Disk, Sys, Creator, Social, Analytics, Books, Calendar, whatever I want. So we'll have to go and navigate into the Zuhu API settings in your Zuhu account, you will have to go and navigate into that. Of course, if you go here into your account example, and click on my account, uh, as you can see. So if I go here to settings, now I'll find here just the preferences, authorized website link, close account, if I wanna close my account, will not find the API settings in here. So it seems like we're not finding this here, just go back. And here is an example, as you can see. So you have a lot of things that you can go through. The Zoo apps, of course. As you can see, there are a lot of apps. You can even go and insults on your uh, app phone. And of course, you can explore like the marketplace, the Zoo marketplace. And see, as an example, search apps if you wanna like uh, look for Power BI and see if there's like some uh, i don't know automated like connection between the both of them because if there is no uh, automated one you will have to use the api key and the api key of course once you get the api key you will have to go and integrate them manually so for you you'll have to go and access your settings and generate your api key and then you will have to go and log in into your power bi so go to Power BI, Data Visualization, and sign in into your accounts. If you have an account, so enter your email as an example. And you will be, of course, on your account, on your, on your dashboard. As you can see, I let's just do so. Why not? Uh, let's just go back. Here, I guess I have an account. I don't know why they are trying to make me create a new one. So I'll just log in into my account and I'm coming back to you. For you, of course, you'll have to do the same, log in into your account. So for me, I cannot access that because I'm having just a, like a personal email. They're telling me that I should have my business email or my company email so I can access that. So of course, for you, you'll have to access that. And once you log in into your Power BI, You'll have to go to the data source settings, enter the Zuhu API details, and select the data table. And of course, you'll be able now to load the data into the Power BI, and you'll be good to go. So to provide some insights, I'll just try to find an article. So connects like Zuhu to Power BI, and let's see. So navigate to data uh, online ser uh, services, select Zuhu Creator. This is of course on Power BI. Click on connect button, select the domain of your uh, Zoho account, uh, namely .com, EU .com. enter your Zoho creator workspace name, enter the application link name, and enter the report link name. So, as you can see, they have an article here on how to do it. So, with even pictures, so you'll have to navigate into get data, as you can see, and you will find Zoho creator right there. You will have to go and click on connect. In there, then select online services, select Zuhu Creator. Once, of course, you click on Get Data, Online Services, Zuhu Creator, and click on Connect button. The Zuhu Creator pop out window will appear. Select the domain of your Zuhu, 
is a dot com dot whatever it is as an example i'll just show you what do i mean by select that so i'll just go here go to apps go to whatever zuhu app it is and i'll just go to this one as an example they'll tell you to select the domain so you'll get and want someone something like this so select.com or whatever domain you have and then you'll have to log in into your account and click on accept so you'll find the same pop out like this on the power bi and then enter your zoho creator workspace name uh, enter the application link name enter the report link name as you can see like this everything is shown in here how to do it and of course other than that click on okay once you finish and sign into your zuhu creator account very sign in very easily then click on sign in then click on accept as you can see power bi would like to access the following information creator so click on accept then click on connect make transformation if any and select close and apply then the connection will be established when the authentication is complete enable uh, enabling of course you to access the data in your zoo creator application for visualization in your microsoft power bi desktop application and yeah there are here some advantages some related topics for example if you want to so sorry for not providing like some specific details uh, by me i had to access an article to show you exactly how because i couldn't access power bi uh because i need like an, a set of uh personal accounts i need an email business accounts so that's why i've went to this article to show you it's fine it shows even i guess it shows it's better than i was going to do i was going to use an api key integration uh that i've seen and yeah, yeah so that's it it seems of course you can even like try to connect it with this zapier this zapier of course will automate stuff for you can connect Zuhu with a lot of apps if you want to. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. So there you have it. You successfully connected Zuhu to Power BI in 2024. Now you can leverage this Power BI powerful data analysis tool to gain insights from your Zuhu data. If you have any questions or if there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next video, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So yeah, like this video, of course, of, of course, if you like it, and if you don't, maybe one of our videos, uh, another videos will you will like. So thank you for watching, and happy data exploring, and I'll see you in the next video. So goodbye.